Celestica has been one of the most remarkable stock stories in the recent years. Its shares have skyrocketed more than 1,500% in just the last two years, with gains of over 340% since March 2024. This rally has been powered by extraordinary earnings growth and the company's deep exposure to the booming artificial intelligence infrastructure market. Such rapid appreciation, however, brings its own challenges. The stock now trades at elevated valuation multiples, which has caused many investors to wonder if the upside potential has already been exhausted. At first glance, the premium valuation may appear risky. But when we dig deeper, a compelling case emerges that Celestica still offers attractive upside. The company has transformed itself from a traditional contract manufacturer into a high-value design and manufacturing partner for next-generation AI and networking systems. This strategic shift has boosted margins, strengthened its competitive edge and given it a long growth runway. In this video, we'll examine Celestica's business, financial performance, growth drivers, positioning in the AI boom, risks, valuation and finally why despite the elevated multiples, it can still be considered a buy. Celestica is a global leader in design, manufacturing and supply chain solutions. It operates through two main business segments, connectivity and cloud solutions known as the CCS and advanced technology solutions or the ATS. The CCS segment has been the main growth engine in the recent quarters. In the second quarter of 2025, CCS generated 2.07 billion in revenue, which was a 28% year-over-year increase, making up 72% of total company sales. This segment includes both the communications and enterprise end markets. The communication side has seen explosive growth with revenues rising 75% year-over-year in quarter two, thanks to strong demand for networking switches. The enterprise side, on the other hand, saw a temporary dip. This was due to a technology transition, but volumes are already ramping up for a next-generation AI and machine learning compute program. The most important part of CCS is the Hardware Platform Solution subsegment, or HPS. HPS revenue surged 82% year-over-year to $1.2 billion in quarter two, accounting for 43% of total company revenue. This business focuses on designing and manufacturing complex infrastructure hardware including high-performance Ethernet switches, servers, compute platforms, storage systems, and integrated racks for data centers. What makes HPS especially powerful is that it operates under a original design manufacturer or ODM model. Unlike traditional EMS or electronics manufacturing services, where a manufacturer simply builds products based on customer blueprints, the ODM model allows Celestica to own significant intellectual property in the products it develops. This ownership of design and IP not only provides higher margins, but also creates deeper relationships with customers who need tailored solutions for their data centers. This transition to ODM has been a game changer for Celestica, giving it a more profitable and defensible business model. The second major segment is Advanced Technology Solutions or ATS. This business serves highly regulated and mission critical industries such as aerospace and defense, industrials, healthcare technology, and capital equipment. In quarter 2, 2025, ATS delivered $819 million in revenue, making up 28% of the company's total, with growth of 7% year-over-year. ATS plays a critical balancing role. While CCS is tied heavily to AI and data center spending cycles, ATS provides diversification through industries that are less cyclical, such as healthcare. Margins in ATS have also been improving, reaching 5.3% in quarter two, thanks in part to management's decision to exit lower margin defense programs and focus on more profitable areas. Together, these two segments show how Celestica has repositioned itself from being a low-margin manufacturer 
toward a high value solutions provider particularly in the fast growing ai infrastructure space celesticus financial results highlight how successful this transformation has been in quarter 2 2025 revenue reached 2.89 billion up 21% from the previous year and above the high end of the management guidance adjusted earnings per share came in at 1.39 dollars a 54% increase year over year again beating expectations Both gross and operating margins hit record levels with adjusted operating margin reaching 7.4% and adjusted gross margin at 11.7%. Return on invested capital also surged to 35.5%, up from 26.6% a year earlier, reflecting the higher profitability of the business mix. Management raised its outlook for the full year 2025. Revenue expectations increase to 11.55 billion dollars representing 20% growth. Adjusted EPS guidance was raised to 5.5 dollars a 42% increase year over year. Free cash flow expectations were also raised from 350 million to 400 million. From a balance sheet perspective, Celestica is in a strong position. Total liquidity at the end of quarter 2 stood at about 1 billion dollars including the 314 that is 314 million in cash and 660 million in borrowing capacity the company's leverage ratio is conservative with gross debt to adjusted ebitda of just 0.9 times free cash flow generation remains strong with 120 million generated in quarter 2 alone importantly capital expenditures remain modest at just over 1% of the revenue meaning the company is not overly reliant on heavy reinvestment to support growth in short celestica is not only growing rapidly but is doing so with improving margins stronger cash flows and a balance sheet that provides flexibility the biggest driver of celestica's growth is the surge in spending on ai infrastructure hyperscaler customers the large cloud service providers like amazon microsoft and google are in the middle of massive capital expenditure cycles to expand their data centers and support new ai workloads celestica's networking and compute hardware sits right at the heart of this build out The broader market context is very supportive. The global data center market is expected to grow at a double digit annual rate through 2032 and the AI infrastructure market alone could reach nearly 500 billion by 2034. Celestica's HPS segment with trailing 12 month revenue of 3.76 billion has only penetrated a fraction of this addressable market leaving plenty of room for expansion. Celestica has carved a strong competitive position by combining several strengths. First, the ODM model allows it to collaborate closely with customers and provide customized high-performance hardware rather than standardized solutions. Second, it has earned a reputation for technology leadership and reliability, which are critical factors for hyperscalers who prioritize supply certainty over just cost. Third, Celestica operates across 16 countries in North America, Europe, and Asia, giving it a global manufacturing footprint that can support scale while optimizing cost and supply chain resilience. This network could support up to 4 billion in additional revenue capacity. In terms of competition, Celestica faces rivals on several fronts. In networking equipment, it competes with giants like Cisco and Arista. In compute and rack solutions, it faces Supermicro and Dell. Against other contract manufacturers, it competes with Foxconn, Jabil, and Flex. However, Celestica has shown that it can gain share even against such large rivals. In fact, in quarter 1, 2025, both Celestica and Nvidia captured the majority of growth in Ethernet data center switch sales, with Celestica ranking among top three global vendors. Celestica's positioning in the AI boom is not accidental. It is the result of years of strategic investment. One of the most immediate opportunities for Celestica comes from ongoing industry transition to 800G networking equipment, which is crucial for handling the massive flow of data created by artificial intelligence at scale. To put it simply, 400G, 800G and 1.6 terabit or 1.6 or just measurements of how fast data can move through a network switch or cable the g stands for gigabits per second while terabit is an even bigger unit think of it like upgrading internet speeds at home 
Years ago, people were happy with 50 Mbps internet because they were just browsing and streaming. But today with 4K video, gaming and cloud apps and AI tools, we need much faster connections, sometimes 1 Gbps or more. Now imagine that problem not at home but inside a huge data center where AI models are crunching trillions of calculations every second. Those systems need to move enormous amounts of information back and forth at lightning speeds. That's what these 400G, 800G and 1.6T networking switches do. They are like the super highways of data traffic inside AI data centers. Celestica has been a leader in building these advanced switches. Management has said that every customer who once bought 400G products is now upgrading to 800G. In fact, in quarter 2025, the volume of 800G products Celestica shipped was equal to 400G and 800G is expected to grow even faster in the coming quarters. Importantly, Celestica has already won 800G supply programs with all three of its largest hyperscale customers. But the company is not stopping there. It is already working on the next generation 1.6 terabit technology. That means doubling the speed again which will allow future AI data centers to move data at even higher capacity. Celestica has developed early systems based on Broadcom's latest networking silicon and has secured multiple design wins with large cloud providers. These new products are expected to start generating revenue in late 2026 and 2027, giving Celestica clear growth visibility beyond the current cycle. In short, these transitions 400G to 800G and soon to 1.6T are like upgrading from highways with 4 lanes to ones with 8 lanes and eventually 16 lanes, making it possible to handle the exploding data traffic of AI workloads. And Celestica is positioning itself as one of the key builders of this digital highway infrastructure. Celestica is not just building networking switches anymore. It is also extending into full AI compute platforms and orchestrated rack solutions. Now that might sound technical, so let's break it down. A networking switch is like a traffic controller that directs data between different servers in a data center. But for AI, you don't just need traffic control. You need the actual engines that do the heavy lifting. That's where AI compute platforms come in. These are powerful servers built specifically to train and run AI models, often using custom chips designed by the customer. Celestica recently won a deal with a digital native company, basically a firm built around AI technology to create a complete AI system using the customer's own custom accelerator chips. Instead of just providing one piece of hardware, Celestica built the entire solution. Servers, cooling systems, networking and integration into a ready to use rack. Think of it like this. Before Celestica was making high quality car parts like engines or transmissions. Now it's building the entire car and handing the keys to the customer. By offering complete racks, basically plug and play AI factories, Celestica moves higher up the value chain. This means more revenue per customer, stickier relationships and more control over technology design. This approach is also powerful because hyperscalers and AI first companies increasingly want customized systems. Off the shelf servers don't cut it for massive scale of AI. By providing integrated solutions tailored to each customer's chips and workloads, Celestica positions itself as a strategic partner, not just a vendor. In short, this expansion into AI compute platforms and orchestrated racks shows that Celestica is evolving from being a part supplier into becoming a full system provider and that significantly boosts its growth and profitability potential. Operationally, Celestica has the capacity to support growth of more than 20% annually with existing facilities in Thailand, Texas and Mexico being able to absorb billions of dollars in additional revenue. This scalability is critical as hyperscaler demand continues to ramp. Despite the strong growth story, Celestica faces several risks that investors must acknowledge. The most obvious is valuation risk. The stock has surged rapidly and trades at a premium to historical levels. Technical indicators suggest that the stock is overextended and a pullback is possible if growth slows. We will talk about valuation a little later in this video. 
Customer concentration is another key risk. In 2024, the top 10 customers made up 73% of revenue and in quarter 2 2025, two customers alone represented 44% of sales. Dependence on a small group of hyperscalers means any reduction in orders or a shift to in-house solutions could have a sharp impact on results. The industry itself is cyclical, tied to the capital spending patterns of cloud providers. If AI investment slows or sentiment shifts, Celestica's growth could be affected. Operationally, the company also faces risks from supply chain constraints, especially since new products depend on timely delivery of silicon from suppliers like Broadcom. Margins, while improving, remain in the single digits on a gap basis meaning execution must remain flawless to sustain profitability. Finally, competition is intense. Rivals like Foxconn or Jabil could push aggressively into the same high growth segments and Celestica's legacy low margin businesses still weigh on overall valuation. Celestica's valuation is complex because the company has fundamentally changed its business model. Traditional metrics made it look expensive compared to peers, but growth-adjusted metrics tell a different story. The company's price-to-sales ratio of around 2.2 is far higher than Jabil or Flex, which trade below 1. Its forward EV to sales multiple of 2.45 is also above the sector median. Free cash flow multiples are very high as well, reflecting expectations of rapid growth. The forward P ratio is in the mid-30s about technology sector median of about 30. However, these multiples are justified by Celestica's superior growth profile. With expected revenue growth of 20% and EPS growth of 42% in 2025, the company is far outpacing peers. Importantly, the forward peg ratio price to earnings to growth is between 0.8 and 1.1. A peg ratio near 1 typically signals a stock is fairly valued relative to its growth. In other words, when growth is considered, Celestica's valuation does not look excessive. Market sentiment also remains largely positive. The company has delivered earnings beats for 16 consecutive quarters and the management has a reputation for guiding conservatively and then outperforming. Analysts continue to revise earnings estimates upward, which helps bring down the forward valuation multiples. That said, some analysts have downgraded the stock to hold or even sell, pointing to near-term risks after such a strong rally. So is Celestica still a buy despite its elevated multiples? The answer lies in the magnitude and quality of its growth story. First, the company has successfully transformed itself into a high-value ODM partner in AI infrastructure. The HPS segment is now the main revenue driver, delivering higher margins and sustainable structural improvements. This has resulted in record profitability with adjusted operating margins of 7.4% and adjusted EPS up 54% year over year. Second, Celestica has strong visibility into future growth thanks to its leadership in the 800G transition and early wins in 1.6D networking technology. Its expansion into AI compute platforms and fully orchestrated racks further broadens its market opportunity. Third, while valuation multiples look high on the surface, growth-adjusted metrics like the PEG ratio show that the stock is reasonably priced for the pace of earnings expansion. In fact, if the market fully prices in expected growth, there may still be meaningful upside from current levels. Finally, the balance sheet is strong with nearly $1 billion in liquidity and conservative leverage. The ATS segment also provides diversification while free cash flow generation continues to improve. Of course, risks remain, particularly customer concentration and cyclical nature of AI infrastructure spending. But for long-term investors, the structural shift in Celestica's business, its deep integration into hyperscaler supply chains, and its leadership in next-generation networking make it an indispensable player in the multi-trillion dollar AI build-out. In conclusion, Celestica is no longer the cheap bargain it once was, but it remains a strategically important and fundamentally strong growth story. Investors who can tolerate volatility and elevated valuation should still see Celestica as a buy, with the potential to grow into its premium multiples and deliver substantial returns over the next several years. 
Thanks for watching. Have a great day.